Okay, once you've got your program all fired up, this is how you're going to be connecting it to the computer and what the lights will look like when you've, you've got it all set up and you're communicating. Uh, first, you're going to plug in your little castle link here into a USB mini uh, from your computer or laptop. And you're just going to see a red LED showing up here at first. And then on the castle link, you'll see the USB connection status turn green. And then what you're going to do is you're going to want to plug it into uh, your castle ESC. I've got an HV ESC, so right now just plugging it in isn't going to uh, get it to start communicating just yet. Um, but you want to make sure you plug it in correctly. We've got a minus, a plus, and then a little signal sign here, so we want to make sure that the minus, the ground, is going into the correct pin. So here we have the brown wire, the red wire, and the orange. The orange is the signal, red is the voltage, and uh, brown is the ground. So make sure we line up the brown with the negative value right here. We plug it in here. And it's not communicating yet just because I've got an H or, or an HV uh, high voltage, so you have to apply a power. You know, I try to get it at least the four cell battery uh, plugged into it. Uh, right now, I'm just going to use a six cell. So in order to get it to communicate properly, you'll see once I plug in the battery here. Okay, so you've got the green now solid and the red light is flashing. And then on the castle uh, creations castle link program, which you can get for free at castlelink.com, you'll see that the device connection status is turning green, and usually it will recognize automatically, or automatically, I like to say, your uh, specific ESC that you're using.